Governor Adelaide rejects judgment, heads to appeal court. In a greatest beneficiary of judgment, Oitola. It was all jubilation in the All Progressives Congress, APC, camp yesterday after the Austin State Governorship Election Petition Tribunal invalidated the July 17, 2022 declaration of Mr. Adamola Adelake as winner of last year's election for irregularities in the conduct of the poll. A buoyant boy Oitola, who was declared winner by the tribunal, said the victory would energize his party, the All Progressives Congress, APC, ahead of next month's presidential election. But Adelike and the PDP rejected the verdict. He vowed to go on appeal while his supporters took to the streets of Osogbo in protest. By majority decision of 2 to 1, the tribunal held that 112,705 votes were unlawfully counted in Adelike's favor. It consequently deducted the illegal votes from the total of 403,371 originally credited to the People's Democratic Party PDP, candidate by the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC, leaving him with only 290,666. The tribunal deducted 60,096 votes, which it said were illegal. Chairman of the Tribunal Justice Ertz Cumin Justice Robbie Bashir said, in their majority ruling, that a total of 181,540 illegal votes were identified in 744 polling units across the state. According to them, neither the PDP nor INEC countered APC's documentary evidence of overvoting in the affected units. They also said that INEC, in issuing APC certified true copies of VIS and election results, did not state that the reports were not synchronized or interim. In addition, they said INEC did not at any point during the hearing apply to withdraw the reports it issued to APC but admitted during cross-examination that it issued the reports to the party. Reviewing the evidence before them, Kuhn and Bashir said, We have looked and evaluated the evidence of the parties as shown in the exhibits before this tribunal. The contents of the exhibits are clear as day. The said evidence is not from the fertile and creative imagination of learned counsel for the petitioners as erroneously submitted by learned counsel for the respondents in their respective reply addresses on points of law to the issues under consideration. The synchronization of the documents made by the first respondent and the physical inspection of same done by the second and third respondents, as shown in the table herein before reproduced, run riot to the defense raised by each of the respondents to this petition in respect of issues 2 and 3 under consideration. The said synchronization, rather than rhyme with each other, are inconsistent and contradictory. The said exhibits tendered by the respondents have not rebutted the presumption of regularity in favor of exhibit BVR and the other documents tendered by the petitioners in this petition. In other words, the defense of the respondents are plagued with fundamental mortal flaws highly irreconcilable and unreliable, incapable of defeating the credible evidence tendered by the petitioners in respect of the 744 polling units where overvoting has been established. The inference we hereby draw from the facts established by the evidence on record is that the election conducted on the 16th day of July, 2022 was done in substantial non-compliance with the provisions of the Electoral Act, Supra, and the extant regulations made thereunder. Moreover, Exhibit BVR has not been withdrawn by the first respondent who made and issued it. The petitioners relied on Exhibit BVR in maintaining this petition. The respondents are stopped from acting inconsistent with the import and tenor of Exhibit BVR. Similarly, the exhibits tendered by the respondents after Exhibit BVR, as rightly submitted by learned counsel for the petitioners, were thought of after the declaration of result on the 17th day of July, 2022. The said conduct of the respondents, especially the first respondent, amounts to tampering with official records. The conduct of the first respondent in the said election under consideration has produced multiple accreditation reports, contrary to its avowed declaration to conduct free, fair and credible elections on the basis of one man or woman with one vote. From the examination of the evidence of the parties in respect of issues 2 and 3, we find as a fact that overvoting occurred in the election conducted on the 16th day of July, 2022 in the manner stated in the table in paragraph 6. 19 of the petitioner's final written address, already reproduced in the judgment. The duty of this tribunal is to deduct the said invalid votes from the lawful votes of the first petitioner and the second respondent, to determine who had a majority of lawful votes at the said election. 
For the sake of emphasis, the total lawful votes for each of the candidates after the said deduction of the invalid votes is 314,931 for first petitioner, and 290,666 for the second respondent. Consequently, the second respondent did not score a majority of lawful votes cast at the election. The declaration and return is hereby declared null and void. What it is, and it's all about the issue of the, in the opinion of that judge, he felt that the beavers, the beavers report that the other side tendered, you know, should supersede the one that we got and we tendered. We are dissatisfied with the judgment as delivered, nullified the election that was freely conducted on the 16th of July 2022. The reality on the ground is that we are dissatisfied. And the necessary legal steps for the purpose of challenging that judgment will embark upon it. Uh, Nigerians, people from Moshe should be calm. There are provi constitutional provisions on what should be done. Um, uh, I have a feeling, I have a belief that the Court of Appeal has a duty here. Thank you.